everyone's asking how can someone who makes a lot of money pay no federal income taxes for about 10 out of the last 15 years? How does that work exactly? And is that something that someone with an average income could do? That would be extremely difficult for someone with your average income to do. Most taxpayers earn money from their jobs, the retirement accounts, and investments. And when you have an employer, when you have a retirement account, when you have an investment account, the income from these accounts is directly reported to the IRS. Well, the average person has very few ways that they could offset that income. When we're talking about deductions, the president listed a lot of different ones. Is that easy to do for the rest of us? No. We're not allowed to deduct the cost of personal trips to visit our own golf courses. We're not allowed to deduct the cost of our hairdressers or our business clothes. So those types of deductions, if they're claimed on a tax return, they're automatically thrown out. So an individual person with a wage job would not be able to claim those types of deductions. In fact, Congress took away the ability of wage earners to deduct expenses of any kind. So uh, corporations continue to allow, be allowed to claim all of their ordinary and necessary business expenses. All right, so I know it's hard for a story like this one not to be political. People will think of it what they will, depending on where they fall on the political spectrum, possibly. But what are some of the broader lessons that could help people watching this all play out when it comes to our tax system? Uh, you know a lot about a person by what they're putting on their tax return, and you can gauge the integrity and honesty of a person by how they file. Clearly... We have a situation where Trump either isn't making all of the money that he claims he is, he isn't the su successful businessman that he says he is, or he's a tax cheat. Like this tax story also points to the larger picture of US tax law. You have someone like Trump who lives a pretty wealthy lifestyle. However, the New York Times reporting on his tax returns reflects that he pays minimal taxes. You know, for the you know, average wage earner, let's say you're know, earning fifty, sixty thousand a year, you know, they're gonna be paying more than seven hundred fifty dollars in federal income tax, most likely. So the you know, the question, you know, to Americans is do you think that's fair?